Hey everyone, uh, Cherub Agent here, and welcome to what I guess is my first official Pokemon Masters video. Uh, it seemed like a fun hobby uh, to start up during the current pandemic slash lockdown. Uh, and yeah, I re just really enjoy watching Poses videos, as you can probably tell from how I chose to format my layout. Um, and anyway, uh, enough babbling. Um, today we got the new Lysander and Sycamore event with a brand new full force battle, which will be the topic of today's video. Um, and uh, based off how the layout looks, I'm sure you can already guess which units I'll chose to showcase. Uh, just keep in mind this shouldn't really be treated as a guide video since all I intend to do here is sh showcase some units that I'm guessing not a lot of people really have. Uh, so yeah, let's just get into it. Um, uh, give and take legendary event. Uh, where are we? Oh, it's down at the bottom. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the, we're going to be doing it obviously with Gyarados and Mighthena and uh, double nice, nice double striker event since the full force battle is weak to both flying and dark. Um, obviously because it's based off uh, Eveltal, which has both dark pulse and Oblivion wing. Um, as you can, yeah, you can probably also guess that I will definitely not be summoning for you, Beltel, myself. It's a complete waste of gems uh, for me personally, with the anniversary coming up when I've got already both uh, Medina and Gyarados EX. Um, I think before we get into it, I can show off the grids. Uh, so yeah, Gyarados is just your, it's just a pretty standard non-rain build. Just hyper beam power-ups. Uh, the Terrify passive, since like, honestly, there's just barely anything uh, to pick up if you're not going for a rain build. But as we'll see, he really does not necessarily need rain. He's just even more OP in the rain. Um, yeah, par Paralysis Synergy, which is basically like a 10% damage boost to Hyper Beam, which is about... How much damage is Hyper Beam? Yeah, look, it's got 245 base power, so uh, a, a, like Hyper Paralysis Energy 1 is a 24 base power increase, pretty much. Um, other than that, but we probably won't even have that since I'm only going to be using Bounce one time this game. Uh, my Ina is just a box standard Crunch and Sync Nuke build. Um, like, I'm going to be comparing the damage of both of these seasonals, but um, I, like, and I could be using Double Edge if I really wanted to make it fair, but I don't really like using Double Edge if you don't have a reliable healer on the team, like either a potion user or a consistent um, HP recovery unit. And, I mean, yes, we do have uh, Blastoise and his Team Fist Bump too, but I would not call that reliable. Very nice to have, can come in useful in a pinch, but you really shouldn't be relying on it. And I do think that Mayina will just end up killing himself, even with his double stand fast. Um, if I chose to go for the double edge build. It, it's really nice in Champion Stadium, by the way, but uh, where you've only got a single row of enemies to kill, but in full force battle, nah, I'd rather not. Um, uh, yeah, so let's get into it. Right. Uh, as you can see, Gyarados is being targeted first, and yeah, I'm about to show you why. Team break. Wow, laggy. That's unfortunate. Okay, challenged by the Masked Man. Okay, Pinsir and the Fighting Types. Let's go. Alright, X Defensal, X Attack, and Superior Might. Yeah, let's go for uh, to the top. And go for another X Attack, and yet another Superior Might. Just because I uh, want to get Gyarados' offensive stats up as much as possible. Uh, okay, so Sock has gone for X Accuracy all, which is my uh, Q to Q, no pun intended, um, bounce on Gyarados, because the next move is going to be Toxic from Pinsir. And if Toxic misses uh, on Pinsir, then uh, if Pinsir's Toxic misses, I mean, um, it won't affect the other two units either. 
which is a really nice way of getting around the AoE status from the full force battle. Oh my god, we did actually get a paralysis off. Perfect. So now I'm really assuming that Hyper Beam is gonna... It should one shot the pincer, come on. Especially after the EX support boost from Blastoise. I'd be a bit disappointed if it did. Triumphant Hydro Cannon. But if it doesn't, then my Venus Crunch should finish off because Gyarados definitely needs that potion now. Oh, we even got a crit there, nice. Alright, let's queue up the next defense. 9939. Nine, nine. Okay, it didn't kill, but I am not going to complain with that damage. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Absolutely busted. Alright, compare that to Super Into K. Oh, okay, but it wasn't super effective. Alright, now, uh, Crunch from Magina. Evasiveness up on Driftblin, that is not fun. Uh, yeah, let's get another X defense, and let's get another potion in. Just to get Gyarados back up to tip top health. 4.9k, that's pretty nice. Another crunch, okay. Now let's get a water pulse in, and the next. Uh, we should be able to sync move with Magina, but let's uh, actually kill the Driftblim first and save the Magina sync nuke for the dark type opponent that comes out afterwards. Uh, okay, nice damage there, nice damage indeed. Alright, let's use Gyarados to kill the Driftblim. And I actually didn't see much. Uh, 4,974, nice, nice, nice. Uh, okay. Now let's see. I think his, uh, Gyarados' damage output is just insane. I absolutely love it. Alright, this should easily wipe out the whole row. Yeah. <laughs> These units are so good. I, God, I love seasonals. I love seasonals so much. I love them. Alright, now we've got uh, more Dark Peak opponents. Uh, how much is Gyarados going to do? Should be a nice comparison. Ah, oh, Team Fist Bump came in handy. There you go. Oh, come on. It didn't even crit. Alright, let's see. I hate it when the crit misses. Oh, I, obviously, I don't even have max crit. It, it didn't refresh, I didn't even notice. Okay, 6,500 with the crit. There you go. That, okay, that's nice. That's nice. How much does Crunch do? Hyper Beam out damage is Crunch! <laughs> I mean, like, to be fair, Crit Strike 2, Power Flex 5. Massive, massive, massive base power. Okay, 3.7k with that. Why am I missing all my crits? Okay. Anyway, yeah, that was just like a showcase of these two seasonals. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I uh, just wanted to kind of like showcase the power of both of them. And if, like, basically saying, if you have both, either of, either of them, or especially both, you probably want to skip Lysander unless he's like your favorite character ever. Uh, so, yeah. That was my first video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be making some more in the future. See ya!